perfect movie to properly and tongue-in-cheek serve as a combination of both Fox and Disney. How did that come about? Free Guy was an interestingly timed production because we developed it and got greenlit at and by 20th Century Fox. While making the movie, Disney acquired Fox, so suddenly we were making the movie for new bosses who thankfully loved the movie as much as we and Fox had already. But it also gave us certain opportunities, not only to amplify the release of the movie around the world, but to maybe, it was our hope, play with certain toys in the Disney toy chest. And, uh, and, and to our great thrill, when we went to Disney and said, hey, you have all these incredible franchises, can we maybe play with some of these iconic toys in your chest? And, uh, and to our great thrill, they said yes. So Free Guy was the beneficiary of new owners uh, and, and very generous owners at that. This film is a fresh take on a superhero origin story. An everyday kind of guy doesn't wear a cape and or tight or have any superpowers. Why is that important? We obviously all love superhero stories and we love origin stories. But the truth is, all of us in real life, we don't wear capes, we don't have superpowers, we don't walk around in unitard tights that, you know, fit tightly across bulging muscles. We're just trying to do the right thing in the real world with the real skills and ethics and goodwill that we have. So I like the idea of a new kind of superhero, a relatable, grounded, normal person who's armed with nothing but optimism, basic good versus evil morality, and a commitment to being good. A commitment to, as we say in the movie, being the good guy. Because I think that that's something that all of us can do. And that the movie is very much about those ideas of, well, how do you want to live? And how do you want to use the power and the potential that you do have? So that's very much the theme of the movie. And hopefully it's the message that audiences receive. Speaking on that, this film has it all, comedy, action, and romance. Was it hard balancing all that? My job as a director is the balancing of tone. And the movies that I try to make the movies that I love most as an audience member are movies that aren't just one thing. So I knew that Free Guy needed to be funny, but I also knew that the bonus points were really to be found in, could it be, in addition to funny, could it be filled with spectacle and deep and warm in its heart? And so balancing action, comedy, and heart, that was the job I gave to myself. It's what I felt would be the best version of the movie. And that was literally my aspiration every day when we worked on the script, every day on set, every day in the edit room and through post-production. And as I said, that really, tone is the work of the director. You have to shoot the movie, come up with ideas, etc. But really the balancing of how the movie feels and how its style communicates its tone, that's my job and it's a job I love doing. Ryan Reynolds as both a star and a producer. What did he bring to the table as a producer? The thing about Ryan Reynolds is we know he's this mega movie star. We know he's a great actor. We know he's a comedic genius. What I didn't know and what people would be astounded to learn is that he's also, and I'm not just saying this, he may be the best producer I've ever produced alongside in my career. And this was my 12th movie. Ryan, when he signs on to produce something, he brings all of himself. He brings his creative ideas in script. He often does a lot of the rewriting himself. He sat there in the edit room with me, cutting the movie, coming up with new ideas, new jokes, new scenes, which we would then go and shoot with literally a home camera on the weekends. And we would edit it into the movie and try new versions of the movie. So Ryan is a full service partner and he is as formidable and as additive as a producer as he is as a movie star. 
We got caught up in that answer. Lost it's true. <laughs> Great job. <laughs> Since much of the film takes place within a video world, did that give you free reign as filmmakers to do whatever you want? The fun opportunity of Free Guy is that it's a video game movie that is not beholden to any video game. So as a director, I'm able to not only create the movie on your screen, but I was able to design and devise my own video game however I wanted. So there was literally maximum freedom because the whole video game world of Free City is a, is a world with no rules. So similarly, as a director, to be able to create a game world, a fictional world with no rules and where everything is possible, where literally the world can reshape visibly and, and physically around you, that was every director's dream because I was able to create and brainstorm and try stuff with no regulator, no limiter on what made sense because it all makes sense because I was the creator of that world within the world. As a filmmaker, how important was it to maintain authenticity within the gaming universe and how did you go about accomplishing that? With Free Guy, I knew that I wanted a movie for everyone and not just a movie for the gaming audience. But I also knew that if I didn't get the gaming right, if I didn't make a movie that felt authentic to gamers, I had failed and I would be called out on it. So the first thing Ryan and I both did is we acknowledged to everyone on the team, we are not hardcore gamers. Let me admit that up front. Let me name that up front. And so I surrounded us with a visual effects department, an art department, a prop department, a, you know, a cinematography and camera department filled with people who were much more fluent in the language of gaming than we were. And so you kind of shore up your deficits with strength. And so it was, every movie is incredibly collaborative. This one might have been even more than normal because I really wanted to get the gaming aspect right. I did it with collaborators who were very game fluent. I also consulted extensively in pre-production and in development of the script with game designers, game publishers, and people who lived and breathed in that world and in that community and culture. Thank you, those are great. Thank you.